God designed for marriage to be two complete people. Elijah, you whole in Jesus Christ. And Taylor, you whole in Jesus Christ. Coming together to complement one another in a way, becoming such a beautiful union in a way that you could never be on your own. That's the beauty of marriage is that God has created us to be together in a way that honors Him. And your marriage is going to be blessed because you said from the get-go, we want the world to know that we are honoring Jesus Christ in this union, in this marriage. It's that He made Slow and sweet We sway, take the lead And I will follow Taylor, my best friend and my future. I am filled with such joy in that statement. From the moment I first laid my eyes on you, the most beautiful girl I had ever seen, to this very moment where I get to call you more than just my best friend. The day is finally here that I get to call you fully mine and myself fully yours. I couldn't imagine being in this moment with anyone else. You spin me round and around and remind me of that song, the one you wrote for me. And we dance. When I was thinking about writing our vows, and I was just thinking about um, us going into this new season, I thought about and had this vision of us being in this metaphorical city of individual and independence. And um, I felt like during engagement, we just stood on the edge and we're anticipating this new season that we were heading into of marriage and um, and here we are now we are walking into this new place that in the way it, was, it appeared in my head was just mountains and valleys and hills and grassy pasture areas and and I'm just um, I'm just really excited and anticipating going forward into this and exploring what this means and figuring it out together. Um, so in this journey that we're about to go on, my first vow is to try with all that I am to continue to put Christ first over you and to seek for um, God to be and Jesus to be my savior and not for you to, not for me to ask you to save me. The second thing that I want to vow to you is that I will lean into you um, in all conflict and in, in celebration as well, that um, we will continue to maintain connection and to not allow disconnection or discord to come between us um, and let it separate us from one another and the intimacy that we are trying to find. And I will lock eyes with the world. <laughs> I'm in love with the way that you are and who you are striving to become. You are driven to follow your principles without compromise. You continue to push yourself to the best that you can be, which means so much because of the perfection that you strive for. You deserve so much from the one person that has sworn an oath of dedication to you. So with this, I vow to spend the rest of my life working on being the best I can be for you. Number three, I vow to seek to grow in the fruits of the Spirit, um, love, joy, as I release my worries and my cares to, to Jesus and um, to just bring joy into your life and let um, your personality and everything that you are bring joy into my life. and for peace and patience as I release control in things that I cannot control and um, as we journey and are trying to figure things out, um, just being patient inside my heart and not just an experience. As your husband, I vow to be your number one fan. I promise to always protect you physically, emotionally and spiritually to the best of my abilities. I vow to do everything I can to let nothing get between us and to put you before work, relationships, hobbies, family, and even future children. I promise to take your side before anyone else's and to be your advocate. I will continue to push myself to better represent Christ in a relationship. With much help from you, I will continue to work on communication, to work on problem resolution, to know that no matter the issue, we have sworn forever to each other, and that that means that no issue can overcome our love for one another. 
It is now my privilege to be the first to introduce to you Elijah and Taylor Price. I'm so excited to begin this part of our story. When I think about what is to come, I am filled with such joy and anticipation. I am honored to have you with me through everything for the rest of my life. I know there are a lot of strong words in this letter, but I figured I'd get a pass, being that it is so important. I vow to seek to believe the best of you and believe in your purest, truest, God-given heart, which desires love, intimacy, to be known and to know. And everything and everything that we walk through, I want to be able to remember who you are. I vow to love you ferociously, passionately, intentionally, authentically, and with all of me. I mean the words on this paper with all my heart. With your help, I intend in following through with it all. I love you so much, Taylor Price. <laughs> <laughs>